Niagara residents came together at Brock University to walk and support those that have been affected by Alzheimer's disease. More than just a walk, the event also had stations offering information on how to maintain a healthy brain through diet, social activities, and exercise. Today is our 15th annual IG Wealth Management Walk for Alzheimer's. We're planning on 400 walkers, which is up from years previous. Uh, the weather held up. It was a little bit snowy this morning and blowing, but I think we're going to have a fantastic day. This has been advertised as a multi-generational event. There's lots of things happening, and it's more than just a walk. What else is happening here today? We have a health fair going on behind us in the gymnasium. There's many different uh, vendors that have healthy brain type of uh, information, also safety in the home. We have visiting angels that are also doing a kid zone. So there's something for all ages. Then as we walk through the, the route itself of the walk through Brock, there are stations set up that will showcase exercise, healthy eating, things that you can do to make your brain so much more healthy. And that's one of the things that's really promoted during Awareness Month. January is Awareness Month. And so we've been doing many talks across the region. So we want to be able to have people live well with dementia. Alan, we're here at the Alzheimer's Walk at Brock University. Why did IG Wealth Management decide to come on board with this cause? It's really our view of helping all Canadians. It doesn't matter if any type of illness, but Alzheimer's is a big one for us because we know that people with Alzheimer's and dementia have um, a little bit more financial stress in terms of family life and generational as well. So we really care about every Canadian, but a lot of the times people with Alzheimer's we really care about too. So. Yeah, that's a good point. And walks are happening across Canada and IG is sponsoring all of those. Do you have a personal connection to Alzheimer's? Has it ever impacted your life? I do. My grandmother right now, it's been uh, 10 years since she had Alzheimer's. She's, she started at 75, now she's 85. And she's been in and out of the hospitals for multiple differences. And, you know, my parents are primary caregivers and they have a hard time in Toronto taking care of her. Um, and, and it's just, it's, it's hard when they see you you but they can't know your name like they don't realize who you are sometimes and I saw her last weekend and she didn't know who I was and so that's tough yeah Karen what made you and your family decide to participate in today's walk um, we've been really involved with the Alzheimer's Society for a number of years uh, through my mom Irma and Irma is also on one of the advisory committees and I'm on the walk committee myself because we really believe in what the Alzheimer's Society is doing in our lives and in the lives of many other people and how has Alzheimer's affected your life? It's been very difficult for my mom, obviously, for my dad as, as her primary caregiver and as children and grandchildren surrounding her, but we really have come together as a family. We're all here today supporting this because Irma is Irma. It doesn't matter what the diagnosis is. We are celebrating every day we have with her with the help of the Alzheimer's Society. Yeah, we've really uh, benefited from the services of the Alzheimer's Association, oh, uh, it's just great, the whole association, the people involved uh, and, and also the support that we have received and that I have received as a caregiver. Can you tell us a bit about Team Bob White? Our goal is to, uh, to, do, as good a, uh, to do as good a job as we can locally, but the, the goal is to encourage other Unifor locals across Canada to participate in one of the 187 walks for Alzheimer's that are occurring. And uh, we, it's not about raising a lot of funds, it's just about participating in the walk, raising a, awareness to dementia, and to encourage people to participate in the walks. And we figure the more people that participate, the more funds we can raise. Uh, and it's also a tribute to uh, Brother Bob White as well. And where will funds from today's walk go? They will go directly to our client service programs. Our goal is $95,000, which is a, a lot more than previous years. So we're hoping to raise that. Last night online, we were around $50,000. And then we have about $20,000 in sponsorship. So I think we're going to get very close to that. I'm hoping to get over 100000 but we'll see. Funds from today's walk will go to the Alzheimer's Society of Niagara, where programs, resources, and support groups will continue to be offered to those impacted by the disease. For more information on ways to support and volunteer, visit alzheimerniagara.ca. In St. Catharines, reporting for The Source, I'm Jennifer Wittick.